but later he has to build an identity as a member of Roman aristocracy. So he bought important properties. One of them is not far from here in Rome. Really? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Can you imagine living here? <laughs> My dad died in 2003, and we really never spoke much about his side of the family. I do know that they were aristocrats. I do know that his mother was named Marina Torlonia, and that supposedly is a big name in Rome, um, some Italian. Um, I don't know if it's nobility. I have no real idea. I've seen snippets of pictures, but I really want to know how far they go back and really where my father came from. I've come to the New York Historical Society to explore my Italian roots. I'm meeting genealogist Gary Boyd Roberts. Hi. He's prepared a Torlonia family tree for me. Oh my God. He shows me that one branch traces the Torlonia line all the way back through my grandmother to a Giovanni Torlonia, an 18th century banker. This one is a banker to the Vatican. Wow, <laughs> how fascinating, really? Yes, they made so much money they could marry into the high nobility. That already is exciting to me. Mm -hmm. But we haven't gone any further up here. That's right. His father, so he was basically, a, well, he's a cloth merchant, and then just his, stops there? Yes, his origin is really unknown. It's thought that he may have changed the name. Trelonia is not an ancient Italian name. Who? Where did they come from to get to there? You know, I mean, you found the bank, but where was his father? And where did his mother come from? I want to know what came before Marino, Torlonia. Brooke is traveling to Italy and its capital city of Rome where her ancestor Giovanni Torlonia was the banker to the Vatican. In the 18th century, Rome was one of the most important cities in Europe, a center of religion, culture, and trade. So I've come to Rome to find out more about my father's side of the family, the Torlonias. I want to know how they got so powerful. I would love it if I could have told him something that he didn't know. You know, because I really don't know how much he knew. I think more than anything, I think he would have been proud that I cared to, to do this, to make this effort. I found out that my Italian great, 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 great grandfather, Giovanni Torlonia, fought his way into the Italian nobility. Now I want to know how he was able to do it. I'm going to start with Torlonia's origins. I know Giovanni and his father Marino started off as cloth merchants. A professor at the University of Rome, Daniela Felicini, who's written a book about the history of the Torlonias, has asked me to meet her here on Via Condotti. So what do we have here? What is, the, what is this? Here at the first floor, there were at the beginning just a, a small textile uh, shop and later textile and let's say a small bank and at the end only the bank. That little bank grew yes. into a big bank. Yeah. <laughs> yes. okay. Giovanni was a very good entrepreneur. He has, he has some sort of uh, uh, intelligence for uh, business, for information. He knows the, the, the keys of the business. Right. Not only was Giovanni a good businessman, he also got lucky. At the end of the 18th century, when Giovanni was establishing the bank, Napoleon and the French army conquered northern Italy, creating an opportunity that Giovanni took advantage of. When the French army arrived in Rome at the end of the 18th century, a supplier of the army, of the French army, and in the, at the same time, the official pope banker, but above all, he built up the first private bank in Italy. Not only Rome, but in Italy. First private bank? He has uh, uh, branches 
uh, in almost all the town in Italy and also in Switzerland and France and Austria. So, Dad, it's a smart guy. But later, he has to build an identity as a member of Roman aristocracy. So he bought important properties. One of them is not far from here in Rome. Really? Now I want Daniela to show me where my ancestors lived. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Can you imagine living here? <laughs> oh my god. Gosh, it's like a, well, it is a palace. <laughs> we are arriving now in Villa Tarlonia with the summer house of the family. Giovanni bought the property from a very ancient Roman family. This is the ballroom, is the ballroom. for the party. It's just extraordinary. Look at the carving of the, all the angels and all of the... Oh, look. And here there is a sort of gallery of portrait of uh, writers and kings and queens. Oh my gosh. It's just stunning. I'm intrigued about his origins. What did he come from that he was able to be that focused, that ambitious, and that smart? You have to have a certain kind of character, and I wonder where he came from to get that character. Daniela has discovered a document on Giovanni's father, Marino, that might finally tell me where the Torlonias came from. We have a wedding certificate of Marino Torlonia. Uh, he came from uh, Giralo, who is the, maybe the Italian transcription of a, a name of the town in France, because we see Giralo is Italian for Augerol, his French origin. This? So his French oh. origin. Yes. That is fascinating to me. I'm shocked at that. There's this other side of my brain which is just so French, so comfortable in France. I even majored in French literature. So maybe that was it. Somewhere deep inside I knew that there was a, something in my, in my makeup that came from France. Now I want to go farther back and find out where he came from. 